Is your Ford F-150 making a weird ticking or rattle noise when you start it up after it's been sitting for a while? That sound can be pretty alarming, especially if you're not sure what's causing it. You're not alone. This issue has been reported by many owners of Ford trucks and SUVs. So let's break down what's really happening under the hood and what you should do if your truck or even your expedition or navigator starts sounding like it wants to join a percussion band. Here's the deal. Ford's released a technical service bulletin or TSB 23, 2143 to address this exact problem. It covers 2017 to 2020 F-150S, 2018 to 2020 Expeditions, and Lincoln Navigators, all with the 3.5L EcoBoost engine built on or before November 30th, 2019. If your ride falls in that range, listen up, because understanding the symptoms and causes can help you catch the problem early. The main symptom is a ticking, tapping, or rattling noise coming from the top front of the engine right after a cold start usually after the vehicle has been sitting for six hours or more. This noise typically lasts just a few seconds, but it can be pretty unsettling. So what's actually causing this? The noise is most often linked to the variable camshaft timing units or VCTs inside the engine. When the engine sits for a long period, oil can drain out of the VCTs and timing chain tensioners. On startup until oil pressure builds back up, these components can momentarily lose tension or proper alignment causing that ticking or rattling sound. In some cases, worn or faulty VCTs or cam phasers can make the noise worse or more persistent. Some folks also notice the engine won't restart after an auto stop start event, which is when your engine shuts off at a stoplight to save fuel and then tries to restart when you lift your foot off the brake. You might even see a check engine light and a trouble code, specifically P164C. So what does that mean? DTC P164C stands for Camshaft Position Actuator Bank 1 Stuck Advance. In plain English, this means the engine's computer has detected that the camshaft timing actuator on one side of the engine isn't moving as it should, usually because it's stuck in the advanced position. This can cause rough starts, poor performance, and even prevent the engine from restarting after an auto stop start. If you see this code, it's a strong sign your VCTs or cam phasers need attention. Now, let's talk about what people are saying online about this issue and TSB 23, 2143. On forums and social media, there are tons of owners sharing their experiences with the 3.5L EcoBoost engine noise. Many say the ticking or rattle is pretty common, especially on cold starts, and some have even posted videos to compare sounds. The problem seems widespread, with drivers from all over reporting similar symptoms. Owners often discuss what's worked for them. Some say the TSB fix solved the noise completely, while others mention it reduced the sound but didn't eliminate it. A few recommend using specific oil brands or changing oil more frequently, though results vary. There's also advice about documenting the issue with videos and service records in case you need to push for warranty or goodwill coverage. The overall theme? Most owners agree it's worth getting checked out, and that staying persistent with your dealer can help get the right fix. If you're dealing with this noise, you're definitely not alone and there's a lot of community support and advice out there. So, what's the fix? Dealers have a game plan. Ford wants them to replace the variable camshaft timing units, the VCTs, and either update or reuse certain parts, depending on their condition. I've seen plenty of forum posts where owners had this done, and most report the noise goes away after the repair. Some ask about upgraded cam phasers. Ford's TSB doesn't mention new parts, but some dealers might use improved ones if approved. Remember, this isn't a recall, so it's not mandatory unless you're under warranty or Ford gives you goodwill coverage. If you hear this noise, get your dealer to check TSB 23, 2143 and mention the P164C code if you've seen it. Out of warranty? Ask if they'll cover it anyway, you never know, especially if you have a history of regular service. If this helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop your questions or experiences in the comments below. Safe driving.